Hound here with another War and Order video. So in this video I just wanted to talk about something that is plain and simple in this game that many people use, uh, which is called March Time Attacks. And I will try to explain exactly what a March Time Attack is and how you can take advantage of it. So if we go to the city and we try to find someone to attack, let's see if there's someone in our uh, hive close by to us that we can attack that isn't in an alliance, for, for example this player. So they're not in an alliance and I can attack them. And you know, if we look down here, what it says is for my march to reach their city, it will take around 46 seconds. So that means that by the time I start my attack and reach that player's city, uh, the amount of time that it takes is 46. Now, if we look for someone else that's further away from us, that march time is of course going to change. So let's say this building here, if we go and attack this person, now our march time is one minute and 54 seconds. So the way that a march time works is very similar to a rally. Um, the difference is if you go here and, oh, whoops. If you actually go to the player, let's say this player, and you click on rally, what happens is you are limited or bound to five minutes of a waiting period for everyone to fill up that rally. So if I set out, and that's a two minute, 30, two minute 30 seconds, if I set a rally on that person, it will mean that 11 people can join my rally and a total of 180k troops. That's all that are able to join my rally. So the only amount of troops that I can get in my rally are 180k. And that's not big, especially if you're attacking someone. So that's not going to be worth setting a rally. I'm going to disband, of course, because it's, uh, it's a waste of a rally. Additionally, the problem with the rally is, if I'm trying to rally this person, I have to wait five minutes straight for this person to um, you know, be attacked. And then on top of that, if we go and check our attack time, there's another two minutes and 30 seconds. So almost seven minutes and 30 seconds of me waiting for, for a attack to be sent to this player. Now, instead of doing a rally, what's beautiful in War and Order is you could click on attack and send out your troops to attack. So now, all right, so now I'm, I'm on my way to attack that person. And that just means that in one minute and 42 or 12 seconds, I will be able to attack that person. Uh, and, you know, I obviously didn't set up any um, presets I, because this person is just a small account. They didn't even play, manage to play. But what I'm trying to say is, so in this one minute, if you look here as I'm attacking, as you can see in the Alliance Battles, other people can click on this attack march and send a march to join the attack. And what's beautiful about this is there is no limit to how many people can send a march to join your attack. You know, you could have your entire alliance. If you have 40 people, all 40 can send at once if they have all a march to send and they're all online at the same time you know you could send 40 people to attack this person at once there isn't a limit to your troops there isn't a limit that's time-based and um, of course there's ways to set this up so what i was saying with this town is if we go and check him out um, it takes around um, two minutes and 30 seconds for my march to reach there what you have to do is ask your entire alliance or whoever's online to set out how much time they have. So if they if it takes them two minutes and 30, they just write in chat two minutes and 30. And the way that you want to work with a march time attack basically is the person that takes the longest to reach the target, of course, starts first. So once that person starts their attack and is marching towards there, everyone else just has to look at this time so you know two minutes and 30 let's just say i'm going to attack another town just for the purpose of uh, showing this as an example two minutes and 22 now all i have to do if my march takes less than two minutes and 22 is wait here for that time to reach where my march can fit so now it's two minutes and 10 and let's say my march can takes only two minutes I'll wait for the two minute march. When it gets close to that, I'll go there and I'll set out. Once I set out my march, my march will join the other person's march and everyone else, of course, will join the other person's march and they will march towards the same city at the same time. Now what happens is when you reach the same city at the same time, every time someone else joins the attack, you know, so if your army is only 60k, someone else joins with another 60k, now you have 120k, someone else joins 140k, 
and so on and so forth, right? You know, you can get everyone to join and you can get a massive attack going on someone's town. Now, uh, in, the, in the remainder of the video, I'm going to show you an example of a March time at attack that we did. And, you know, that was just on a world monster that we did. Uh, not that big of a deal, isn't super attack based. But I think it, this March time strategy is something that everyone needs to take some advantage of and just learn what exactly it does because it comes in handy and it's a really big addition to the game. And it just makes the, the game more interesting because you can send more than 11 people to attack someone. Yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.